not Amelia. You can't. I love you dearly. I know that. I just don't think. I don't think this will work out. I mean, I'm literally just a floating stock image of a plate of spaghetti. Yes, but you're my plate of spaghetti. An 800 lost leg. If you or a loved one have lost your leg in a skiing accident at the Dave and Buster's off of 132 Crowded Boulevard between the hours of... Dude. I'm pretty sure there's an alien on this alien on the spaceship right now. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. I d yeah, I think there are aliens here. Oh, yeah. We gotta scram. Electric guitar. Boring. Bass. More like a bay oaring. <laughs> Am I right? Acoustic guitar. That'd be boring. Ukulele? What, are we on a beach now? Or what? No. Tambourine, boring. Recorder, boring. Harmonica, boring. In all honesty, I am blessed to have this many instruments, cool. but let's go to Goodwill and just grab the most bizarre instrument ever and make a song out of it. We've arrived. I'm gonna bring the camera. Don't really like filming in public, but I'm very curious to see what kind of instruments they're gonna have. Zolmates, this trip proved unsuccessful, sadly, but hope is not lost. I have one more stop to go. All right, lots of money riding on Thrift Smart. Not, not actually a lot of money, I'm, I'm broke. Good morning. Here's a rundown of last night's trip. Goodwill, although disappointing, wasn't a complete L. It had a bunch of pots, a bunch of random electronics, and two instruments, if we're gonna call them that, that I ended up buying. The first is, drum roll please, this toy guitar. There is zero musicality coming out of this thing, but we might be able to sample it somehow. Next up is a gold payphone speaker. This is actually a funny find because I recently made a video with Trash Talk Audio who makes these, which are payphone microphones. So now I have a payphone which records audio and a payphone which plays audio. Let's plug this in to the phone. Now if we press this play button. Not very loud, but it's pretty cool. So although we didn't find an actual instrument at Goodwill, we found some things that hopefully we can record. The last ditch effort after Goodwill was Thrift Smart. And let me tell you, Thrift Smart, not sponsored, is totally slept on. They were selling some wild stuff over there. The first thing that I noticed that was musical was a garage band drum set which would have been a wild find if I was looking for that. After that, I found a music box, which would have been dope to use, but it was $50, which was sadly out of my budget. But before I lost hope, I was looking in these glass containers and I found this keyboard. It was only $12, probably because it doesn't even have a brand name and only one of the speakers works. But at the end of the day, it is still a functioning keyboard. All right, let's head tonight. And let me show you this guitar riff that I recorded yesterday 
we're gonna be turning it into a full song using these three instruments. And while I show you the riff, let's spice up these instruments a bit. <laughs> this speaker is so bad. Oh yeah, I like it. I, I like it. <laughs> That's fire. Um, turn the volume down a little bit so it's not distorting. Yo, these speakers have natural distortion. That's about all. So, you've done your job well, Mr. Guitaro. Okay, after recording in my closet with my nice microphone and everything, not only did I not really like how the chord sounded, but I also don't really like how I recorded with like a nice microphone. This song is all about just like indie DIY, super raw, so I'm gonna keep it that way. And let me show you this little setup I got. Just got the keyboard on the ground. I'm just gonna use my phone to voice memo it so I can get a more real recording. Also, I painted this wave on my acoustic guitar today. Really like how it looks. Zolmates, as you saw in the last clip, I actually re-recorded the keyboard because the first recording sounded a little bit weird with the guitars, and then I ended up re-recording the first re-recording of the keyboard because the first re-recording also sounded a little bit off. And it turns out, this keyboard is reasonably priced at the low, low price of $12, and that is because, along with other things, Everything that comes out of this keyboard is detuned by around 28 centitones. And now you might be saying, Zola, you said it yourself, you're going for like a raw vibe on this song, and the detuning will give it a cool lo-fi sound. But no, it just sounds bad. Here is the beat. We have the intro guitars up here the main guitars down here, and then all of the keyboard recordings down here. And as you can see, a lot of keyboard recordings, a lot, because I kept having to re-record it because they kept sounding bad. Like I said, everything is detuned by around 28 centitones. So if we're going from the intro right here to the chorus, let's press play. Let's throw in a tuner on this keyboard, and if we solo it... Let's go ahead and grab all of these keyboard recordings and pitch them up 28 centitones. Love it. Just need some drums and some bass. And I don't really think I want vocals right here, but I did record 
vocals, and you'll hear they have like this cool lo-fi uh, sound to them, which I love. So this is the first verse. <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite things about making music is that, you know, when you start making a song, you usually really strive toward your vision of where you want the song to go. And as you can see, there's so many different keyboard recordings because I was trying so hard to get this song to where I had it in my mind. An outro section was never originally part of the plan, but since I ran into this problem, which I thought it was a problem because it wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. I ended up having all of these extra keyboard recordings and I was able to create an outro. So the song just ended up going to where it wanted to go. The song wanted to go, not where I wanted to force it to go. And that's kind of the beauty of making the music and just trusting wherever the song leads you, that's where you should go. I just love that so much and yeah so keyboard is finished we have the layers here I'm excited to add you know drums bass and all that but let's move on to the toy guitar so up here is the toy guitar recording <laughs> so plan a is to grab this first okay it's not picking up any That's just not at all what this song's vibe is. So I think plan B is going to be this right here. Could be a snare if we paste it right there. Yeah, this could be a kick. I mean, this kind of sounds like a kick, honestly. So this sounds awful, obviously. But I think layering this on top of real drums could be fire. And I was thinking about this earlier. I'm gonna ask my friend Felix Fizo if he will record some real drums for this song because I think this song definitely needs real drums. Toy guitar, finished. Keyboard, finished. Now we need to use this payphone microphone. I have this acoustic guitar recording for the intro. But the recording is way too clean. I want to lo-fi it. I was thinking about just throwing on an EQ and giving it like a high pass filter, but I think if I send this to my phone and then I play it out of this speaker and re-record that back into Ableton, it will naturally give it a lo-fi effect. So let's give that a shot. I'm gonna export this. Now it's on Dropbox. Okay, this thing is so quiet, I'm gonna have to hold my breath. It's so quiet. It's gonna be a lot of noise. Kind of fire though. Man, that sounds so much better. I love that. Okay, mixing it with the guitar. So this is just gonna be the new intro. Let's rate these instruments. Keyboard. 
The fact that everything is detuned by 28 centitones uh, and only one speaker works, I want to give it a five star, but since those three things actually kind of add to the aesthetics of the instrument, we're bumping it up to a six out of 10. Moving on to the toy guitar. Now this is really cool, especially now that it's painted. It looks dope, but as an instrument, this is a two out of 10. Last but not least, payphone speakers. I really like how cool this is. It's gonna really help me like experiment with sound, re-record, record, re-record, re you know, all of that indie stuff that indie artists love to do. I would give it a seven out of 10, but it's not really an instrument. It's more of just like a recording device. So we're bumping this down to a six out of 10. The question of the day is, will I ever find a 10 out of 10 instrument from Goodwill or Thrift Smart? Uh, yeah, this song, moving forward, I am going to hit up my boy Felix, try to get some drums, and also record some bass. I will update you later. Soulmates, hello from the future. The song that you have seen me make in this video is actually dropping tonight. It's called Heavens, and I'm premiering it on my YouTube channel in 30 minutes. And yeah, don't forget that the music you make is art. So keep making music. Soulmates for life. Peace. We are seconds away from the premiere, from starting, and just wanted to send out a massive thank you to all of y'all who pull up to like the music premieres and hang out in the Discord. It's like, it's, it's not a lot of people, but y'all are really the reason that I'm able to just have so much energy and love making this content. So to the day one fans, seriously, y'all support means more than the world. And let's get this premiere going. Oh, that was some sick timing. Let's go.